I think we might have to enlist everybody's help here to be able to name yeah. whatever car is in here. I know, I definitely won't know a lot of them, but... You know some. Adam knows this is a Ferrari. When you think about it, Mike, that's a lot of BMW 328s. Oh, all of them. Like, <laughs> that's all of the oh, BMWs. Why every one of them? Blowing up and not blowing up. <laughs> Okay, so we showed you an incredible collection of cars in the gallery, but now we're in an even more secret location, checking out a lot of cars that are a little bit more unusual. I'm gonna catch up with the guys, and we're gonna talk you through some of the amazing cars in this particular collection, which is in another part of the compound. A lot of these cars are driven on the road, so you can imagine just how crazy they are. list everybody's help here to be able to name yeah. whatever car is in here. I know, I definitely won't know a lot of them, but you know some. Adam knows this is a Ferrari. Hold up, we're going to do a quick run through. Fast. All right, so we'll start here. Land Rover. Land Rover Defenders. This one is very cool. Look, how, look at this one. Like proper old school Land Rover Defenders. Mike, this is more your kind of an aisle. I'm like, <clears throat> any one of these, any one of them, I'm happy. I would look good in this one, eh? That would suit yeah. you, Mike. Yeah. You did a grid in a give, it, give it a lean there. Give it, give it a lean there. It'd be kind of down Mike Street now, I think. Now, that's a good idea. I think me and Josh have a race in these. Just, just put it out there. It'd be handy for going around events, Mike. These now are a bit of me. <laughs> Old school American trucks. They are all immaculate. Like, they're not... They're not second-hand. Okay, no. They're just perfection. Every single one. There's quite a lot of them, in fact. This. Another Ferrari F40. I know this one. That is unbelievable. To see two in a day, Keen. Adam has doubled his F40 count in his life. He's seen now four. Two today. Wow. This one we always we had a look at this the last time we were here is one of the craziest cars I've ever seen because you change the gears mm -hmm. on the left hand which are left hand on the door like an afterburner on a fighter jet. It's the Vector W8. You can see it's one like one prize as it shows. I think I actually saw some photos of this Gulf Concourse at the Burj Al Arab in Dubai. You can see why. It's an official pace car of the Indianapolis 500 mile race. This is like uh, Inception, Josh, because the footage you're taking now will be in this video. Yeah, it's like... So this is a behind the scenes of you. The filming of the filming. I'm filming the filming of the filming. Which you're going to nice. show in the filming. So if you're a fan of Toyota Land Cruisers, the BJ... BJ40. BJ40. Dan Moorhead, this is a bit of you now. Hello. Yes, it is a bit of me. Um, this was the, basically the first series Toyota Land Cruiser. And there's a lot of them here. Well, we have it in pretty much every single variation. We bought pickup, hard top, soft top. And look at these ones with the original crates with the tires and stuff. That's really cool. It's like a Safari edition, but it's just brand new. They look all brand new. And they're all the way as far as you can see. And we've got some Bentleys, some more the Nissan Patrol? Yes. Wow. Here we have two mint Nissan Patrols. So well. that's like old school Nissan Patrol, old school and very old school Nissan Patrol. But again, these are not just sitting here. In, they're brand new. Volkswagen Beetle and a Fiat 500 and a smart car. So things get smaller down here, Mike, a bit like you. Yeah. This is kind of coming to my territory. I don't know what they show up here. It's a tuk-tuk. I'd like to go. You were in Thailand. You know that? Yeah, yeah. It's a tuk-tuk. This is like Hummer golf carts, but Mike, I, I, see, I see you. Wait, look at our golf cart. Look. This is. Look at the luxury. I know, for a golf cart. Like, it's luxury. There's three, two of those. Oh, that's in 280Z. Absolutely flawless. Nice color, too. This is getting pretty rare worldwide, especially in this condition. I'm all about that. This is a moke, Mike, is what they're called. I Mike call and a moke. I call it fun. That's Mike, moke. Mike, <laughs> moke. And right beside it, Formula One car. Of course. <laughs> Jensen Buttons, Formula One car. From the Lucky Strike team, if I'm not mistaken. This one has no engine in it, it's just uh, the body shell, but it is an original car. 
And right beside that, we have a camel, which uh, I don't think I've ever said in my entire life. Every sort of car you could ever want to see is here. We've checked out all the supercars in the gallery. We've now come here to sort of a second gallery where they've got, you know, just a random mix of stuff that they don't drive. A lot of stuff still has delivery miles in here. Some has driven on the road here and there. And it's definitely the most random collection of cars that I think any of us have ever seen. What's up guys, we've just arrived at Sultan's workshop here in Masafa. It's fresh from the top of the podium at the last round of the Emirates Drift Championship. Exactly. Just pipped <laughs> this year by Ahmed Daham in the last round. Exactly. But we've just checked, checked into his workshop here in Abu Dhabi. And you have got some projects going on here. Something a little bit different for everybody. So what we're gonna do is a little walk around of some of the projects that you've been working on, some of the cars, sort of past, future, and present. And we're gonna give you guys a quick run through, and I'm pretty sure you've never seen a collection quite like this. Okay, so now we're gonna start with the Lexus. Yeah. So this model is a, it's not very common in Europe. Yeah, it's the RC. RC, and of course, this yeah. comes with what engine originally? Uh, it comes either with a V6 or a V8 if it's RCF. Uh, I, I put an LS in it, obviously. This is an LS3. Uh, this was an LS2. It had a supercharger. That's why you see there's a big uh, oh, that, bumper right there. It's like agricultural, we call <laughs> yeah. it in Ireland, but, but I get it. Yeah, but we had to... <laughs> Fit it in do. somehow. Exactly, so we just hit the hood and we just wanted to work because it came with an electronic steering rack. So this has like a full... Rocket bunny, yeah, forget the wheels. The, sp the fitting is not correct. We just wanted to see if it works. It yeah. works pretty good. It's a, it's it's a, a problem. Really this is a full drift car. Yeah running everything and roll cage and the door it's just all steel we haven't i think i'm going to redo it now 100 percent do a carbon roof and all so this was sort of an experiment to yeah, see would it work it, yeah and it worked <laughs> and it works pretty good it's really really good well this kit i mean i know the wheels aren't the wheels that no, were no. originally for the car but it's a pretty badass body kit on this one yeah it's uh, Rick, uh liberty uh, rocket bunny whatever and the thing is this is like the future of their range and then we go all the way back exactly. to My favorite car the A86, and this one has a pretty good story, I think. Yes, this is the one that was, I think, was on one of your episodes before. Hood is close, but this one had the 500 miles on the engine, built by TRD in the States back in '99. So this came from the USA. Exactly. It was a, there was a story behind it. It was left in a container after 9/11. It came back here, stayed in a stayed in the warehouse in the ports for 11 years. 11 years. I bought it in 2011. And I kept it the same way until Hassan surprised because I for, was parked in the other place and I forgot about it. Took it. He took it for four or five months and didn't realize, brought it back. Beautiful. All restored. Exactly. So this is, how, how, many, how much mileage do you think is on this car? Uh, on the engine, I'm, I'm pretty, I think 600. 600, 550, 600 miles yeah. from new. Yeah. And it's an original TRD. It's an original TRD, told they had dual carbs, everything. There is not many. I don't even think Toyota have cars with 550 miles on them. So it's Look dual at carbs, this. still <laughs> four age, full Toyota head, HKS and everything. They built it in 99. Wow. And it's the way it is. That's like a piece of history right there. <laughs> So this is completely different again. This is yeah. <laughs> we're, we're going from one extreme to the other. This, this is, is a, as slammed as it gets. <laughs> it's a 32 Ford suicide doors. Usually with the remote it opens, but obviously it's dead. This one, people in Ireland and the UK will recognize from last exactly. year competing in the Irish and British Drift Championships. This is the HGK Eurofighter yeah. yeah. or Arab fighter as we, we <laughs> dubbed it. The Ryanair fighter. The Ryanair well. fighter. <laughs> but yeah, it was fully, it's, it's all there. I just literally for the last round we pulled out the engine so Easy. she's she's got no heart which yeah. has gone into the s15 am i yeah. correct and i'm happy i got first place in it so. yeah so it works pretty good and it's going back i think i blew the engine they're pulling it out again because uh, here here are the engines that i'm building now so this one is supposed to be for the 15 this is for the beamer the new one and the one on the beamer we're rebuilding and so hopefully put as a spare this is the ls3 stroker it's up to 6.8 that's an LS1, I think, with the IT, but not, that's not its intake, obviously. Yeah. And that was supposed to go to the Corolla in Ireland <laughs> with the ITBs. An LS1? Yeah, with the ITBs. These are just random clutches, alternators, bits and pieces for all of these LSs. That's a VQ, actually. Oh, VQ, VQ in the from car. From Anismo. Is that actually VQ? Wow. 
and a 2J and a 2J. And that's so like head collection, all the heads. These are all LS, LS heads. heads. Because yeah. the LS is quite easily available here. Yeah. In Europe, it's pretty tricky to get, but here you seem to have quite a few. Like 14 <laughs> LS heads there. So the reason I'm keeping my camera this way is because <laughs> you have a very special car that's over here exactly. that we can't show right now. So we're going to focus on the car that Hassan was driving at the weekend. Yes. Lexus yep. GS 300. Yeah. <laughs> this was in Lima last year. Remember I got first place in it. Yeah, this is an LS1 with nitrous. Yeah, we took it off. There's no need for it tonight. It's a big, it's a big old car. It is, but it's perfect. It is mint. This car is the, that's the kit, nitrous kit. And uh, it's, it's, it's mint, it really works well. No issues. And um, yeah, it's, it's, I, works I, I, pretty good. Yeah. It actually worked pretty good at the weekend. So we're, we've got a car over here. We're, not, we're going to talk about it a little bit later on, but we're not going to show it. Right. And then we're going to go to the car that did take first position yesterday, yesterday at the Emirates Drift Championship. And already engines going out. The engines <laughs> coming out the next day. Yeah. So I don't know what happened. Remember, after the one more time, something happened. So I don't know. And we're just going to take it out, check it out. We have a few spare engines. If it needs to be, we we'll just put in. So this car, and I know we've 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 checked it out a little bit at the championship, but uh, tell us a little bit about it. It's got a full. This the body kit really suits this car, and I, yeah. it's like a paint and a wrap. I'm not yeah. sure. it's a paint. It's a wrap and paint. It's so it's mix. This is the new 3M. I think they did this where it's a you can paint over the wrap. So wow. Yeah, we it was a flat black with a little bit of gold sparkle. And we painted extra sparkle on top. On top of the wrap. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. It looks crazy, especially when at night time, when, yeah. when, when the light bounces off it. So this is the car that this was in uh, Ireland and UK yes. two years ago. This was all carbon. Well, it still has like the doors, the trunk. It's still all most like some parts are carbon. But um, I saw Kevin Quinn's cars and they're, they're amazing. Yeah. And I had to go Origin Lab, to be honest. So you went full Origin Lab, which isn't yeah. common in the Middle East. It's the only one. It's the only kit? <laughs> it's the only one. We see these, like we, can, we fall over these yeah. in Ireland because there's so much Origin yeah, Lab, but here it's, it's rare here. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. car looks amazing. Even the fitment, everything on this car is just perfect. We appreciate Sultan's um, change run with the ham. Look at that, that's pinpoint actually. It was the back of the car on a transition. What, what did you say to me yesterday? You did a... <laughs> little bit of Dwayne. A little bit of Dwayne McKeever. <laughs> nice, nice. So this is a road car, and I know the drift car is the same, but this thing is, for people who are into Hondas, this is like the holy grail car. Honda NSX. Acura. Acura NSX. Yeah, of course. Because uh, we can't register at Hondas with the right hand job. This is an American spec. It's a 92. And uh, I think after 92, they stopped doing the flip-up lights. I have a thing for flip-up lights. So Everybody's got a thing for flip-up lights. Yeah. They should never have got rid of flip-up lights, but this one looks amazing. It just, it doesn't age, this car. It always looks good. So we've got some bikes here, Sultan, that you showed us earlier, but we've got to talk to the guys on the blog about these bikes. So we're not experts on bikes. In fact, Drift Games have never had a bike ever on its vlog. But we had to show these bikes to people. Talk us through what they are. They're Confederates. Um, they were uh, limited edition runs and uh, it's more like an art piece. They just appreciate the time we kept them. That's why. So these are, I'm, I'm going to repeat what you said to me earlier because there was a lot of jaws dropping from the boys. <laughs> you won't give me a shot and now we understand why. <laughs> so these are built from an F they were saying uh, um, some fight. Were, this was way back when, but I think it was uh, F-16 parts, carbon fiber wheels, and I think what they meant was the aircraft grade aluminum. It's super light, and everything is either aluminum or or carbon fiber on this thing. So how many of these were made? They were supposed to make 60. I think they cut it off at 30 or somewhere. So there's 30 in the world. I don't know how many right now, to be honest. They, there's not exact number, but I, they didn't do the whole run. Yeah. And you have two. Could, could I ask a price on one of these bikes from? Now or when it was new? No. It's upwards of 150 US dollars. And I don't mean $1.50, 150,000. No, that is $300,000 worth of motorbikes right there. And you know what? They are amazing. When you think about it, Mike, that's a lot of BMW 328s. Oh, all of them. Like, that's all of the well, BMWs. every one of them, blowing up and not blowing up. <laughs> these are pretty cool. I like this. Uh, this uh, this is out of the GS. Look at Josh's, this is Josh's yawn face. I'm trying to figure out what this is. This is for the truck. The mother's... Oh, you didn't see the truck. No. Sorry, the truck. We're going to go see, see the truck. The Adam, do you want to come see the truck? I don't oh, want to see the truck. truck. Do you want to see the truck? Yeah. Is this the Let's truck that was here the last time? Yeah. Oh, yes, I want to see the Let's truck. Let's go see the truck. 
Sultan, what is this? I know, I, look, we'll get a, a past the part that it's an F-150 because it's not an F-150 anymore. So now is this my birthday present? <laughs> Seats might not be on, or they might. Oh, what? <laughs> this is my jam now. We didn't put the windshield look, on. This is so cool. So talk us through, this is a F-150. This was supposed to be for round one in Lima. It's a Ford, and if you look inside, it's an LS with a turbo. <laughs> No way. It's very unpredictable here. There may be a pattern starting to emerge here, Sultan. Have you got an LS The World t-shirt exactly. or something? Exactly. This is the widest. You can't really drive this on the road. It's just ridiculous. The width. It's like four feet wider than a standard Raptor and they're pretty big. Oh, wow. Okay. We can confirm it is an LS. Massive turbo. I've never looked at one through the side of a car before or above the wheel, but that is pretty crazy. So we don't beautiful. have the interior, like you see, you see inside, it's still not done. The side panels, we're still working on the wiring. And what are these, these seats are like? It's ostrich leather with diamond stitches. Pretty cool. Ostrich leather seats, that's, that's a new one for me. <laughs> we don't have a lot of ostriches in Ireland. I think they're, I think they're only in the zoo. I don't think you can make them into seats in Ireland. <laughs> and then everything else in here is like protected by dust. dust. <laughs> this is the car that was built by Group Darren, D, yeah. Darren McNamara. We remember seeing this in Ireland quite some time ago when it was at one of our events, but now it's here. It still looks as good as it always did. And it's still rotary. And it's still rotary. Of all the things you did in exactly. LS, you kept a rotary engine. Exactly. Of everything. You said on LS, everything except rotary engines. Exactly. It's very nice. I, I really like this car. This car is amazing. You done much driving? Uh, twice, I think. Once or twice. Fun? Oh. It's, it's, what I like about this car is it's so minimal. Yeah. Like, it's, it's an actual, you could compete in this car with a few, few extra pieces, but it's so minimal, it's just the driver, and that's it. And a lot of bop, bop, bop exactly. from the road. <laughs> Full BN sports kit. Very, very tidy job. You've got a, it's a Ferrari. Well, this is a dead, that, the batteries are dead, but it's a twin supercharged V12, 612, stinky um, nothing. Yeah. I've got an X5 a Porsche. I'm not speeding by these, right? Yeah. But there's one car here that yeah. I want to, uh, which is one of my favorite cars in the world. Mike, sorry. Oh, sorry, Mike, there's an E30. There's a mint E30, you're just ignoring it, like. It's a bit dusty, like, but uh, nice. But this is the car that every time I come here, I go, if I could pick one of all the cars, this is the one. So this is one of the cars yeah, officially licensed from Gone in 60 seconds is an Eleanor. It's actually, it has all the, the real engine, the supercharger, the nitrous is all hooked up and all works. The go baby go button is actually the nitrous button, like it works. <laughs> I have to see the go baby go button. <laughs> I mean, just, just, just for, there's, there's, a, there's people screaming at the camera right now saying, show the go baby go button. Mike, we're gonna have to get a little light in here. So this is all. This car has done very little mileage, obviously. Yeah, we just had it clean. That's all, there's so much dust, dust in the workshop. That's nice. and, and there it is. The go baby go button. The nitrous signed on the dash. But I can't really make that out. We'll just say James Dean. He signs other dashes. James Dean would not. We'll just say Nicholas Cage. He has gone successful. <laughs> amazing, amazing car. That's pretty much everything except. The one fun mobile that every, I, I really want to show people this. This is what you guys race in the desert? Yeah, I did one rally in it just because I, I wanted to see what rallying was last time, I think. But this is the new single seater. Mine could be healthy. Yeah, she's tied here. No, no, we'll, we'll do the other side then. So basically, this is uh, it's a thousand cc, it's like the side by side. But yeah. It's, it's no, but it's single to, seater. Yeah. So there's a thousand cc NA and it's a single seater, it's, so it's caged and has the GPS, the bucket seat and everything. This is the kind of thing Mike would die in, I think. <laughs> is this the one that I was meant to drive around one and Dave wouldn't let me? Yeah. Yeah, yes, I was meant to go for a spin yeah. in this in the desert and Dave was your, like, no, we should go Your road. parents would never forgive me <laughs> for letting you get in anything like this. That's crazy. It's cage. So Dan, thank you for showing us around your collection. Amazing. Pleasure. Some amazing cars and we can't wait to see the new one, which we couldn't show today. But you're going to bring it to Europe, right? Uh, it's going to be better than everything you saw. So Do you think? I think it's going to be the craziest drift car in the world Perfect. this year. <laughs> but we're not going to show it yet because we're going to leave that as an exclusive for later on. But uh, 
definitely stay tuned for it. So that finishes up our adventure here once again in the Middle East. What a way to finish it here at Sultan's Garage. Amazing machines. Which one was your favorite? Hit us in the comments below. We'll see you guys on the next Drift Games vlog when we're back in Europe. And we got some important stuff to do before the season starts. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks, guys. Okay, guys, that was the latest episode of the Drift Games vlog. We hope you enjoyed it. We got a question for you, though. Sultan is building a brand new car for 2019, and it's going to blow every other drift car in the world out of the water. It's never been done before. It's a car and a chassis that has never been attempted in drifting before. We want you guys to guess what it is in the comments below.